Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to continue on chapter 2, 3 phase AC circuit part 3. Okay, so the previous video I have shown you the phasor diagram of the voltage. Okay, so in this video we're going to learn more about phasor diagram. So in this slide, okay, it's about phase current of a balanced system where you can see that we have phase A current, phase B current and phase C current. Okay, and you know by applying the KCL, okay, the sum of the current is zero. Okay, so this is just for the balance system. If it's not a balanced system, okay, the current will not sum to zero. Okay. But in this module, power system module, we're just going to learn about the balance load only. Okay, we are not going to consider the unbalanced condition. Okay, so I'm going to show you next. I'm going to show you okay, the difference between the phase current and the line current. Okay, in this example, okay, you can see that we have phase A, we have phase B, and we have phase C. Okay, alright, for phase A, we have current for IAN. Okay, and for phase B, we have current for IBN. And phase C, we have current for ICN. So, phase current... is IEN, IBN, and ICN. Okay. Because this is balance load. Okay. Because this is in the balance load. Okay. So, all IEN, IBN, and ICN are 120 degrees apart okay so if we want to write the formula you can say that okay sorry if you want to write the phasor diagram of IEN okay taking IEN as the reference Okay. you will see that they are 120 degrees apart. Okay, this is what I mean. Okay, that is for phase current. Okay, so let's see what is a line current. So line current is between, okay, phase A and phase B, okay? So, we call that IAP, okay? So, for the current, okay, between phase B and phase C, okay, that one, we call it IPC. For the current, is between, okay, the C and the A phase, we call it ICA. Okay, so the line's current is IAB, IBC, and ICA. Again, in the balance load, okay, these currents are 120 degrees. Apart. So, if you want to draw again the phasor diagram of the current, the phase current, taking as IAB as the reference, you will see that, okay, they are 120 degrees apart.
Okay, it's very important to note that the magnitude of IAB is the same as the magnitude of IBC and ICA. Yeah? The magnitude in the balance load okay, is the same for IAB, IBC and ICA. And it's also the same. The magnitude of IAN is the same as the magnitude of IBN and the magnitude of ICN. Okay, right. So, for the line current, okay, we can see that the magnitude of the line current, okay, taking IAB as the zero, yeah, as the reference. And IBC, the magnitude, because they are 120 degrees apart, so we take this way, that is like, so that's why we have negative, and the magnitude of ICA, that is, okay, right, so in this case, you will see that the magnitude of IAB is the same as the magnitude of Okay, all the three phase is the same, the magnitude. Okay. So what about the phase current? So the phase current, the formula is IEN square root of 3 IEB. So this is what you have to remember. Okay, so IBN is square root of IBC ICN is square root of IAC okay all right so here are the example okay the difference between the phase current and the line current okay so next from the previous uh, video, okay, we, I have shown you the phasor diagram of the voltage. Okay, so you know that okay, there's line voltage and also there's a phase voltage. Okay, so far I have been showing you the phase voltage, VAN, VBN, and VCN. Okay, phasor diagram. But I haven't introduced to you yet about the line voltage, VAB, VBC, and VCA. So, in today's slide, okay, we're going to introduce you to the line-to-line -line voltage. Or we can also call it as the line voltage. Okay, so let's see the example. Okay, the difference between line-to-line -line voltage and the phase voltage. Okay, again, you are given a three-phase Okay, which is VA, VB, and VC. Okay, it's the same for both circuit. Okay, so what it means, okay, so let's start with phase voltage because it's the easiest. Okay, for the phase voltage, you can you can say that VAN, so it means that the, the phase is connected to the common point, okay, to the neutral point. Okay, so that is a phase voltage. Means that the source is connected to the neutral point. Okay, so that is called phase voltage. Okay, so if I list it out here, the phase voltage is VAN, VBN, and VCN. Because the voltage connected to the neutral okay the common point okay that is a phase voltage all right so line to line voltage okay is slightly different okay when you say line to line voltage it has two names you can call line to line or you can say line voltage okay it's the same okay so line to line voltage or line voltage okay is vab 
VBC and VCA. Alright, so means that it's between okay, phase A and B. Sorry, that is a capacitor. Okay, so that is VAB. Okay, so VBC will be that is we see all right so that is a line to line voltage okay so it's slightly different than the phase voltage okay uh, you can write it in the formula VAB okay is actually a phase voltage for phase A minus phase voltage B okay so you get VAB so that's why you get the the phase voltage of A minus the phase voltage of B, so that's why you get the potential difference between the two phase. Okay, that's why you get VAB. Alright, so it's the same for VBC. Alright, the potential difference between the phase B and phase C, you get the line voltage. Alright. Okay, so next. So far, you have learned about the current, okay? Current, we have a line current, we have a phase current, and you also have learned about the voltage. We have a line voltage and we have a phase voltage. So next, okay, we want to draw, be able to draw a phasor diagram for both phasor diagram voltage and phasor diagram current, okay? So here are the golden rules. Okay, before you want to draw any phasor diagram, okay, make sure that you memorize these three golden rules. Okay, so we're going to concentrate okay, our focus on drawing the voltage phasor diagram first. Okay, so for the first voltage, okay, you know that it's represented by VAN, VBN and VCN and it's always okay, a part 120. So it's always 120 apart to each other. And also the same for line voltage. It's always again 120 to each other. Okay, that's rule number one. Okay, rule number two, it says that the line voltage, okay, is always square root of 3 to the phase voltage. It means that the line voltage, okay, the magnitude of VAB is always slightly longer than the magnitude of VAN, of the phase voltage. Okay, that's rule number two. Always remember this formula. Okay, this relationship. You have to know this. Okay, so rule number three. The line voltage, VAB, for example, will always lead, okay, phase voltage, VAN, by 30 degrees. So it means that the line voltage always, okay, lead the phase voltage by 30 degrees. So this is rule number three. So you have to memorize all these three rules in order for you to draw the correct phasor diagram. Okay, so, so far you have seen me drawing a voltage phasor diagram. Okay, so this is very familiar to you. Okay, all right. So to make it easier for you to understand Okay, sometimes we draw a, a circle, a dot circle. So what this circle actually means is just to assist you saying that, okay, the magnitude of VAN, okay, the length of VAN is the same as the length of VBN and also VCN. Okay, so what this means is, okay, the magnitude of VAN is equals by the magnitude of VBN and is also equal to VCN. Alright, so you want to say that the it's the same. Okay, the length, okay, this part here, the length is the VAN magnitude. Alright, so this part here, okay, is VBN magnitude and then this part the length of VCN is VCN magnitude okay 
So that's what it means. Okay, the length of VCN, VBN, VAN is the same. Always. Okay, that you have to remember. It's very important. Okay, so now, because we are taking VAN now as the reference, so you'll be expecting that VAN is 0 degree. Okay, and because they are 120 degrees apart, so that's why VBN angle is 120. Okay, so when you see the negative, you know that. Okay, they are this way. Okay, they are like. Okay, so that's why they are 100 and negative. Okay, alright, so that is a phase voltage, phase diagram. Okay, so next we're going to have a look at the line voltage. Okay, in the line voltage, Okay, in the line voltage, you, you know that in order for us to get VAB is VAN minus VBN. Okay, so after you do this trigonometry, okay, you solve this trigonometry, you are going to get, okay, the rule number, uh, which rule is that? Rule number 3, okay. So where I say that VAN equals to, uh, sorry, rule number 2. Okay, VAB equals to square root of VAN. Okay, uh, square, sorry, square root of 3 times VAN. Alright, so this is what you have to know. Okay, right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to redraw this phasor diagram. Okay, alright. So if you see here, okay, this, okay, if we go back to our rule, remember we say that the line voltage will always lead the phase voltage. That is rule number. 3 by 30 degrees, right? So if you see here, okay, the line voltage always lead the phase voltage by 30 degrees. So that is rule number 3. Okay? Alright? So if you see here, the magnitude of VAB now is slightly longer than VAN. It's always longer because of this rule. Okay? Because of this formula. So it's always square root 3 times VAN. So, that is the length of VAB. Alright, so if you see here, now the VAB doesn't start at 0, but instead the, the degree is, the angle is at 30 degrees. Okay, so that's why if you see now the VBN, okay, so if, if we are saying, okay, if we are taking... Sorry. Black. Okay, this way, yeah? Okay, we are moving this way. Alright. So, you will see that now the 30 degrees minus with 120. Why 30 degrees? Because now you are talking about the line to line voltage. Okay, you are talking about VBC. And VBC has to be lead, has to be earlier from VBN. Okay, by 30 degrees. Okay, so that's why the angle of VBC now is 30 degrees minus 120 and you get 90 degrees. Okay, so goes it goes the same for VCA. So here you can see that VCA, okay, is 30 degrees minus 240 which is negative 210. Okay, alright, from zero, yeah. Okay, so here you can see that VCA now lead VCN by 30 degrees. Okay, so if you see here, okay, this is 30 degrees apart. Okay, alright, so that's what it means. VBC lead VBN by 30 degrees. Okay, and VCA lead VCN by 30 degrees. Okay, VAB lead VAN by 30 degrees. Okay, alright. So, this is very important. Okay, let's draw everything. Okay, so you can see it's in the 
uh, in a slow motion, okay, one by one, okay. So let's draw, okay. Now, before I start drawing, let's say, let's put a note, okay. We say taking VAN as the reference. Okay, you know that VAN is a base voltage. Okay, so let's draw, because we are taking VAN now as the reference, so we start drawing the VAN first. Okay. Alright, so let's start with VAN. So again, the VAN is the reference. Okay, the reference always start with a zero degree. Okay, so that is VAN. That is VCN and VBN. Yeah, okay, right. So you can see that they are 120 degrees apart. Okay, they are 120 degrees apart. Okay. Alright, okay, so that if I write the formula here, it will be, okay, VAN, 0 degree, VBN, negative 120 degree, okay, if I'm assuming, okay, let which is negative 120 degrees. Okay. And then VCN is VCN magnitude negative 240. Alright. Why is 240? Okay, because we are taking from 0. Alright. We are taking from 0. So that's why negative 200. 40. Okay, alright, so that is for the phase voltage. So now we want to draw, okay, the line voltage. You know that the line voltage is VAB, okay, and you know that the formula is VAB equals to square root of 3 VAN. And then it's always start by 30 degrees. Okay, it's always lead the VAN by 30 degrees. So you know that VBC, the line voltage, is square root of 3 VBN and is 90 degrees. Okay, why 90 degrees? Because it's 30 degree minus 120 degree. So that's why 90 degree, yeah? So VCA is square root of 3 VCN. So the degree is negative 210. Why is negative 210? Okay, it's because 30 degree minus 240. Okay? Alright, so where this 240 comes from? Okay, so this 240 comes from here. To change the color. Okay, so this 240 from here. Okay, so this 120, because remember the line voltage Okay, it's actually based from the phase voltage. Okay, alright. Okay, so that's how you get the formula. Okay, so based, based on this, okay, we're going to draw the phasor diagram for line voltage. Alright, so the phasor diagram, let's use, okay, this green. Okay, because you know that rule number 3, 
the golden rule says that the line voltage has to lead, so it has to be first. Okay, all right. So here is the VAB, and the magnitude is of course longer. Okay, all right. Then VAN. Okay, so thirty degrees. So it has to lead VAN by thirty degrees. Okay. So next, you have to draw VBC. So again, VBC has to lead VBN by 30 degrees. Okay? Alright? So that's how you draw. Okay, next, you need to draw the VCA. VCA has to lead. Okay, VCN by 30 degrees. Okay, so basically that is the voltage phasor diagram. Okay, F both for line voltage. Okay, line voltage and the phase voltage. Okay, so this is for lag. Alright. Okay, so next, okay, let's see, okay, if we can draw the phasor diagram for current. Oh, that's my, okay, all right, okay, so you've seen before, previously, okay, we have a line current, okay, how we label our line current as IAB, IBC, and ICA. Okay, so what is our phase current? Our phase current is IAN, IBN, and ICN. Yeah? Okay, alright. So previously, I've shown you, okay, for IAB, the magnitude of IAB, or oh, AB, sorry. Okay, let's take, okay, so now you see that I'm taking the line current EAB as the reference. Okay. So the magnitude of VBC. So now, because they are 120 degrees apart, so that's why that would be negative 240. Okay. So that is for line current. Yeah. Next, okay, for phase current. So for the phase current, okay, the phase current going to be based from the from the line current, okay. So now the phase current, if you see here, okay, it's going to be the square root of a B now. Okay. And B N now is going to be the square root of B C. Okay. And I C N now going to be the square root of I C A. Okay. Alright. So because now you are taking I A B. Okay. As reference. Okay. The rule for the for the current is different. Okay, the phase current will lag. Okay, will lag. Okay, let's let put a note here. Okay, before we forget. Okay, let's write the note. Okay, always always remember that IAN always. Lag. IAB. 
by 30 degrees. What it means by this is the phase current always lag. Okay. Okay, this let me write it here. Okay. So note here, okay, phase current, okay, always lack line current by 30 degrees, okay, always remember that. Okay, let's draw the example. Okay, now because you are taking IAB as the reference, so it has to start at 0 degree, yeah? Because now is the reference. Okay, so now we're going to draw the phasor diagram of the line current first. Okay, that's going to be IBC and ICE. And again, of course, they are 120 degrees apart. Okay, they are 120 degrees apart. Okay, because they are balanced load. Okay. Okay, right. Good. So that's why, okay, the degree here is negative 120 degree because we are assuming it's lag. Okay. So that's why it's 120 and okay, it's 240. Okay. To ICA. Okay. So this angle here representing this one. Okay? And then this angle here representing this one. Okay? All right? Okay. Okay? All right? So next, we want to draw okay, the phasor diagram of the phase current. So the golden rule says that the phase current lag line current. Okay, so this time, okay, you know that it's going to lag, okay, the phase current going to lag IAB. Okay, and what about the magnitude of IAN? Okay, so now you see that IAN magnitude is slightly longer than the uh, line current because of the square root 3 times by IAB. Okay, so you know that it lags. Okay, so that's why now IAN is here. Okay, alright. So the angle here is 30 degrees. Okay, so for IBN, IBN will be here. And the angle is 30 degrees apart. And then ICN is there. And again, the angle is 30 degrees apart. Okay? Alright? So basically, that's how you draw the current phasor diagram for line current and phase current. Okay. So more info, you can actually watch, okay? Uh, phase diagram YouTube, okay, at YouTube, this is the link. This is not my video, but it's by someone else. If you want to uh, get more insight in the phase diagram, you can have a look. All right. So basically, that's all, okay, for phase diagram, both for voltage and current.